be. Is he already in your life? Kevin, at first glance, the uh, roster seems pretty heavy in terms of seniors and graduate students, and then you have your incoming freshmen, um, and then you know a couple of juniors and sophomores. How do you like how the group is mixing at this point? Yeah, I think it's a good balance. Uh, you know, obviously we have we have a, a terrific class of freshmen, uh, but I think what's really going to help them is the fact that they do have juniors and seniors that have been through this, have been through college basketball to understand what's going on that can help them. Uh, keep them going in the right direction when freshmen hit the wall a little bit. And I think it's been a really good mix so far. Kevin, what sort of jump start does a European trip like this do for you guys as far as looking at the grand scheme of things heading into next season? I think more than anything, it gives us – it gives the coaches a chance to see, like, what works, what doesn't work, what you can do. Um, but I think most importantly, I think it's a great – opportunity for the guys on the team to really bond, get to know each other, spend serious time off, off the court together, um, do some really interesting things, gives them a, an opportunity to see culturally what they might not have been able to see. So um, I, think these, I think these trips are invaluable. I think if there's something that um, from coaches get a lot out of it, players get a lot out of it, fans get to see uh, an, early, an early peak. And, you know, I, I just think it's – I think it's one of those things I wish we, we were able to do a little bit more often just because I think it's um, it's so valuable. Obviously, a lot of key returners from last year that played big roles last season, but you also have plenty of newcomers. What have been your first impressions of them, whether it be the freshmen or transfers, adapting to both your system and for some of them just adapting to the college game as well? Uh, the freshmen have been great. Um, I mean, I knew they were going to be really, really good, but they're really, really good, um, not only from a standpoint of just being players, but their work ethic is great. Um, they've obviously been coached at the high school level, a very high level. So um, they've been through hard practices. They play against very good competition. Um, the transfers, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, most of them have been hurt uh, since they've got here. So we really haven't had a whole lot of time for the transfers to kind of get in there. But um, – the young guys and the old guys are mixing well. Thank you. Um, kind of piggybacking on both of those questions, how important is it for, you know, the seven new guys coming in um, with this, you know, to trip to Italy, you know, they have more time with players on the court earlier in the year um, and off the court in Italy. Um, is that beneficial to just kind of getting this new group to gel together? Yeah, I, I think it's a it's a great jump start. Right? You know, it's, it's not going to be – I mean, we get back August 10th. Uh, but I think it's I think it's a great jump jump start. I think it gives gives everyone a chance to kind of. I think again, it's like I always use the summer to kind of everyone kind of figure out everyone's personalities. You know, we don't practice that much. This is the first time we I've practiced in the summer, so uh, let everyone kind of figure everybody out where where guys like the ball. Um, I think again, I think the older guys are doing a great job with the young guys and transfers. Um, but just trying to teach them how we work and what we do, and so it's again, it's it's really valuable. How do you uh, implement things and how do you determine what you're going to implement? We're, we're kind of in a pre preseason, so you don't want to put in too much or show too much. Is it basically vanilla? No, I mean, I'm putting my full defense in. Um, and we're adding a couple defenses this year because, you know, the vets will kind of – the vets know what we're doing for the most part on defense. But we're – I'll throw the whole defense. I'll get the whole defense in the 10 practices in. I, that's usually the normal. I usually get everything in by 10 practices and then you build on it. It, it won't be clean, but we'll have, we'll have our whole defensive package in um, by the time we leave. And then by the time we get back, we'll probably have a good quarter of the offensive package in. So I, I treat this like an NBA training camp. You know, it's, it's intense. Um, we, you know, we're going double sessions on the weekend, um, individuals in the morning practice in the afternoon on during the week. So it, it's going to be a hard 10 days that, the Italy trip is is kind of the reward for the practices, the way I look at it. Um, so 10 hard practices, three good games where everybody will play different combinations. But, we, you know, this is this is a great way to jumpstart of, of getting a lot of stuff in so you can work on stuff once they do come back for school. All right, we'll go to Wes. When did uh, 
this trip to, to Italy sort of pop up on your radar? And was there anything specific about, you know, these opportunities that, that might have, you know, that, that? No, they were always, this was already scheduled before I got here, you know, because it was, it was on the rotation once every four years. Um, I, I just, I tweaked the, the schedule a little bit. You know, I wanted to hit a little bit more wine country than other places. So I just tweaked it a little bit. But it was already on the rotation. You've had some movement on the staff in terms of assistant coaches and such. Uh, what have you seen from from the new guys and you know some guys stepping into to new roles? What, what have you seen from them so far? Yeah, I mean I, I, that's a huge. That's probably the biggest work in progress I, I have going on right now. The players are easy and the, and everything like that. Just getting everybody, getting Mike on up to speed, getting Greg a little bit more involved than what he obviously what he was able to do before. Um, Ricky's been great, but he only got jumped on the floor July first, so. Um, you know, really trying to, you know, David's elevated to a new role. So um, for me, I think most of my, I hate to say, it, I mean, most of my summer has been trying to get the staff kind of on the same page and getting them to understand what we're doing. Um, luckily, I've been through this before, but it's, I've never lost three in a year. So it's been a little bit more time consuming on the staff side than the player side. But that's a good thing about having a guy like Jameer Young, Juju, Dante. Um, Jimmy, uh, Jahari, those guys have been great in helping the players get ahead of, of where we are, where the staff hasn't had to be uh, so involved. Coach, uh, after your successful year last year, uh, do you see that you're being uh, accepted much greater on the recruiting trail? Is it, it's never easy, but is it, uh, you know, Kevin Willard's here? And also, uh, how's the NIL program going to the university? It, yeah, I mean, recruiting's been recruiting's great. Um, I think uh, this area is extremely welcoming to to everybody. To be honest with you, there, it's just it's such a high level of coaches. I've said this all along from the AAU side, from the high school side. Um, they respect the fact that uh, I think the staffs put a lot of hard work in building those relationships. NIL has been great. Um, you know, it, it's just a constant battle because that's really what recruiting is all about now. I hate to say it, it's there's really nothing much else besides, you know, NIL. And that's not going to change for any time in the near future. Hey, Coach, uh, you guys had your first of 10 practices recently. What was maybe that that practice like? What was maybe the environment that was surrounding, surrounding it? Practice was great. Yes. I mean, it was just yesterday. Uh, practice was great. Uh, you know, I, I like the fact that some, some of the younger guys from last year took some, took some steps and, uh, played really well. I love the way the freshmen didn't take a back seat. They came out right away and tried to try to prove themselves. Um, I seen big jumps in, in Jameer, uh, Juju's taken some, another big jump so far. He's worked a lot. He's worked really hard on the shooting and, uh, playing a little bit more on the perimeter and, and Dante's, I think. I think Dante's now poised to have a, a really good senior year. Kevin, is there an update on Chance Stevens' uh, status? And if he's out for an extended period of time, how's that impact what you like I don't. Do? I'm not allowed to give injury updates. You'd have to go through John. Okay. Well, could I ask then, if he's out for an extended period of time, how's that change what you hope to do in terms of improving perimeter offense? Uh, well, you know, Noah's taken a big jump. Jamie Kaiser can shoot it with the best of them. Um, I think just adding those two guys on the floor at any time. Jameer's really improved his shooting. Uh, I think Dante will be a much more consistent shooter. You know, again, I think last year these guys playing the tempo that we played was was a little bit, in fact, that, that way we shot the basketball. I also learned a, a lot about the Big Ten, about life on the road a little bit, so changing the offense a little bit especially on the road to get better three-point shots. That's a little bit on me, not the players. But uh, Noah and Jamie are, are two, two extremely high-level shooters. So just putting them out there is going to improve our shooting. Hey, Coach. Uh, just a little bit about the type of teams you're playing. Like, what type of basketball teams are you going up against? And when you're out there – I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. I have no idea who we're playing. You could it, – it, it's kind of irrelevant to me who we're playing. And I like it's it's early August, so most of the pros are not back with their teams yet. So it's usually a 
it's usually a mixed match of, of what you get. Like I said, I think the, mo the real value of these trips are, you know, going to experience all the, all the history and the culture that Italy offers and also the 10 days of practice and, and, and that. So I, I really don't, I, I wouldn't even know who we're playing. I don't know what dates we're playing. Um, I'm just more focused on the 10 days of practice. Just tip it off and let them go. Yeah, I, you know. I was going to ask what you want to see on the court from your guys. I mean, it's a pretty just basic stuff. Just yeah, no, I mean, I, I want to see what, you know, I want to see the 10 days of practice. I mean, again, it's the three games are great for them. They'll enjoy it. But the 10 days of practice for me um, is really where, where I want to set the tone for the season. Um, the games, we're going to play all, all 13 guys. So, um, you know, we're gonna. I'm gonna try playing. You know, four guards with uh, Maddie. I'm gonna try to play. Uh, I'm gonna try to play seven one six eleven six eleven six six and six six. So um, the games, the games are, will kind of be fun, and you know, I'll, I'll be able to experiment. Each one of the assistant coaches are gonna coach a game. I'm not gonna coach them. I'm gonna let the assistants coach them. I think it's a great opportunity uh, for them to, you know be in charge and, and draw plays. Uh, it, it, I've always done that, and I think it's been very beneficial to my assistant coaches. Alex? Hey, Kevin, good to see you. Uh, first off, have you been to Italy before? And is there a, a food or, or a, a site that you're most excited to see while you're there? Uh, yeah, I've been to Italy two or three times. Um, I love Rome. I just love the fact that you can, you can walk into one of the oldest churches and in the world and the next thing you know you're in you're in a michelin restaurant i mean like it's just it's the coolest city in my opinion the people are great um they're very welcoming the food is off the charts um again i you know it's i enjoy a good red wine it's, it's one of the best wines in the country in the world so um i do love rome we're going to florence and i think florence is one of the most underrated towns um it's you can just walk florence for for hours and hours and hours. So um, we're lucky we're able to go, but we're going to take advantage of the experience. And you talked about what you want to see on this trip, but how do you hope that this trip pays off when we get to the late fall and the winter when you guys are in season? What do you hope to see then from this trip? I, I think the biggest thing I'm hoping is that we can take a, with really with the four freshmen, uh, with Cal having to take a step, um, with Noah having to take a step, you know, making sure we, we you know, by the time we come back and start practicing in October, that we're we're working on stuff that we usually work on in December, and giving us an advantage that we can build on those things and work on those things. Also, uh, giving the opportunity that maybe I don't have to Jameer gets a little, I don't have to work Jameer so hard in, in in the December month and the January month. Same thing with Juju Dante, because the younger guys and and the guys that didn't play as much last year are more advanced and they can play more minutes and give those guys opportunities that, again, I think those guys got a little beat down as the year went on last year. Right, we have time for one or two more. Okay. Some coaches delegate quite a bit. Uh, how hands-off or hands-on are you about the development of your ice cream flavor at this <laughs> time? How many samples do you uh, allow yourself to take on a day or weekly basis? I tell you that, the creamery, they, they did an unbelievable job. I, I gave them my three favorite ingredients, which is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, banana, and black raspberry ice cream. And they came up with two really, really, really good options. And I, I put it up to a vote. Um, we went upstairs, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody tried it. And I knew I had my favorite. And everyone thought I was nuts that black raspberry, banana, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups would taste good. And I think I'm a genius when it comes to ice cream. I just, it's just one of those things that, you know, I'm not that great on underneath how to balance plays, but I can pick an ice cream. Staying on the food front, uh, you coached in and around the New York area for quite some time. Great Italian restaurants in the city there. What sort of Italian dishes do you enjoy and you hope to enjoy when you go overseas? Oh, man. Um, I'm a big chicken piccata guy. Um, I, love, I love lasagna. My wife makes probably the best lasagna. Um, that I eat. I'm, I I love the fact that their food over there is very simple. It's not it's not heavy on sauce. It's not their pasta is all fresh, which is very hard to get. Um, and their breads, which I've been doing a really good job this summer staying off the breads, but I will go over there and, and, and kill the bread for for ten days. So, um, I'm a huge pasta guy. I can eat pasta every night if if, if my 
50 year old body would let me eat pasta every night. So those days are long gone. And their pizzas. You know, even though I'm a New York pizza guy, I shouldn't say that, but their pizzas are really good. Anything else? Thank you, everybody. <laughs>